cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Cruise lines continue to cancel sailings amid rising fears of Omicron-related COVID infections. And that leaves some passengers, especially those who booked at the beginning of the pandemic, wanting their money back. So what do you do? Well, let's go to our consumer investigator, Shannon Bank, and she's looking into it. Some are ready to give up the weight, but they tell me that getting money back or even extending those vouchers is no easy task. John Douglas booked a more than $7,500 Viking European River Cruise in July 2019. So the then United COVID States. hit, and you can imagine the rest. Five days before the cruise was set to sail in March 2020, John canceled. So they said, well, we can only do a voucher, um, not a refund if you're canceling. Not feeling safe to travel, he agreed to the voucher. Then, two days later, he says Viking canceled the whole cruise and issued refunds, but not to him. And I called Viking about it. I said, come on, you're talking two days. They said, no, you, you canceled, so you don't get a refund. Don has been waiting for the right time to use his cruise voucher, but he's been watching as major cruise operators canceled sailing on more than 20 ships in the past month because of COVID. Like many passengers who accepted COVID-related vouchers, John's voucher is expiring soon, and he's still not ready to cruise. It's an open-ended, you know, they get to keep our money forever. Um, I just don't think it's right. The government is looking into changing cruise refund rules, but right now each cruise line can decide how to deal with it. And as you can imagine, the companies have different policies. Megan Moncrief of Squaremouth, a travel insurance company, tells me there are many travelers holding on to vouchers. A lot of travelers were, were able to receive a voucher early on. Now we're two years out, going on three years out. The likelihood of being able to use them seems to be getting smaller and smaller. Vouchers, she says, aren't covered under travel insurance. They would need to to hand that voucher back to the cruise company and then claim the amount that they originally paid for the cruise. I reached out to Viking Cruises about John Douglas' situation and I haven't heard back yet. The company's website, however, does spell out that if you cancel a cruise, you get a voucher, not a refund. But during these unprecedented times, some consumers are hoping for change. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the travel insurance. Yeah. You would think mm -hmm. that maybe that would cover it, but you're saying if the cruise line's cancel they don't they don't cover you under the travel insurance very good question a lot of people are confused by that you think that you would think that it would cover that but right now it's not covered under what's called traditional travel insurance policies which most of us get you can however buy what's called a cancel for no reason policy and that will cost you though about 50 percent more than a standard policy and only up to a 75 percent reimbursement but of course that's better than nothing which is what a lot of people are getting with the traditional policy yeah, it's like you have to roll the dice and see right. how it plays out mm -hmm. it's pricey either way all right thank you shannon if you have a problem that needs solving you better call bank there's the number one eight five five bankin or you can reach her on facebook at wfla shannon